I'm a medical doctor by profession, trained also in uh, business management and being healthcare. I started out my career in the public sector where I worked at Kenyatta National Hospital before proceeding to work at Gertrude's Children's Hospital. I had a duration of a little bit of a year working at Gertrude's Children's Hospital before joining Equity because I felt working at Equity aligned with my vision in terms of offering affordable healthcare and that's a very good quality. And even that's what I was looking at when I was doing my MBA. How can we match both the quality and cost? Healthcare, unlike other sectors, is a 24-hour sector. As a woman, you have many other roles to run. You are a mother, you are a wife, you are the doctor that your patients want to be able to see at any given time. That then was the biggest challenge, because how do you fit into the various roles that you're required to fit into, and at the same time, do a good job of what you're required to do. That came with its challenges, and I think called from a very early stage for finding that balance, to be able to be excellent in everything that you're doing. For anyone, if you're seeking growth in your career, then you really have to scout for an area that you feel you will thrive. So it helps a lot if what you're doing is aligned with your vision, so that whatever you're doing does not have a short-term view. In terms of generally what you feel works for you and what doesn't. It's impossible to grow if you're not working with others. You must be a natural team player. That's one. And number two is that your impact has to be felt wherever you're going because at the end of the day, if you're working somewhere and you're generally not felt, then it limits your growth. In terms of my growth, I think I'd attribute it to the various people that I work with because wherever I went, it was always my business to find out who are my superiors, who are my juniors, who are my team members, and find out how you fit well into that sort of setup and look up to the mentors, lean in like Sunbug tells us, you really need to lean in. You have to present yourself as someone who's willing to go the extra mile, not work only within a framework of this falls within my job description or does not. And when opportunities come back, you'll find again that people tend to present your name as this is a, someone who can do this because we know that she'll go the extra mile. So I always, in my journey, looked out for people who could support me and did my part also not to let down those mentors. In our training, we do not get any sort of business training, for example. So I found myself when I was, uh, when I first joined in healthcare management at a point where you're looking at others to support you. Say, for example, in healthcare marketing, it called for working very closely with people who are professional marketers to advise us on how then we go ahead and market health. So you really must learn to look at others, call in their strengths to be able to support you in, in your growth journey. Now we no longer have stereotypes in terms of even um, roles and jobs that this is uh, better meant for men, better meant for women. If you go to medical school now, they'll tell you probably 60-70%, a large percentage is made up of women. So I think education is really opening up uh, opportunities for women, education and mentorship and just having the right people who look up to you and try and raise up other women leaders, just women, disadvantaged categories of people, that's where the opportunities lie. For women who probably find yourself find yourself in a place where you can play the role of encouraging other women along, it really is important for us to do this. The higher up you go, up the ranks, you find there are fewer women. For the women who are in these roles, it's very key for us to encourage other women along. The thing with us, we tend to want to tick the boxes, each and every single box before you can you can grow up. So we can encourage others that you do not have to get everything right from day one, but be willing to start. Personally, give my commitment that I, I will do that. I believe I've, got, I've done it and will continue to do it. For men again who lead teams, encourage the women again in your team and assign responsibilities for them because it is responsibility that allows you to grow. Give very candid feedback and not be afraid to say you're doing a very good job when they are and not be afraid again to say I feel that you could do better. I think you're made for better but you're not exerting yourself as much as you ought to.